guys, sorry. That was my dialect in German. But today I'm going to Ischgl. It's one of the most famous and biggest ski, ski, ski resorts in Austria. Sorry, she was also in German. And I hope you will have fun because I will definitely, definitely will have fun. <laughs> As you can see, the weather is perfect and the slopes are amazing here. I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> now you may wonder why, because I said before that I'm Ischgl. Yeah, that's true, but Ischgl is part of Austria, but here you also have the opportunity to go over the border to Switzerland. And maybe you wonder why now? It's because of the sun, because now we have December and the sun is really low, really low. but here in Switzerland, the sun is shining so bright and that's the reason why I'm here now. In Austria, the most important thing, yeah, the most important thing is the break, the so-called Jausen. <laughs> In the whole ski area, there are many different restaurants. You can find traditional Tyrolean food, Western food, also pizzeria. So if you're hungry, you really can find something. I personally prefer to eat on the slope because I prefer my Jausen. <laughs> but when you think to go to Ischgl, I can guarantee that you will find something to eat. Compared to other ski resorts, Ischgl is very modern. They have very fast lifts, also with heated seats. Seats, which is very important for me because as you know, I was 
it's always cold. Yeah. <laughs> and the lifts are very big uh, for eight to ten people. Yeah, they also have wind chills, and I really recommend it to go to Ischgl. I'm exactly at the border between Austria and Switzerland. In Switzerland. Uh, many, many years ago, people used to smuggle different things from Switzerland to Austria and also back. And that's the reason why it's called the smuggle slope here. slopes in Europe and now have fun by watching me by mastering the slope <laughs> anymore and it's so hard to see it and to see something <laughs> yeah. when was the last time when you saw a pizzeria in 2000 meters high is over now and as you can see also the sun is going down but the heaviest part is waiting now the last slope down to the village and this is also a bit dangerous because many people are tired now from the day and also many enjoyed the Apreschi yeah and so I have to pay attention because otherwise my day will end at the hospital I wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit sure that I don't become you I have no regrets outside of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be a Thanks God, I managed the last slope Yeah, and it was heavy for many people, it's now time for Apreschi, as you can see in the back there. Not for me, because I'm not the Apreschi girl, but it was such a nice day and I enjoyed it a lot. You may wonder why I'm wearing a swimsuit now, but Ischgl opened a wellness and spa area one year ago, I think. And now I said it's time to go for a spa. A really long day comes to an end now. Uh, it's now um, 11.46 and I have to drive home for more than one hour but at the end I really have to say it was an amazing day first I really have to tell you now the real story because I really thought that I am not able to recommend you the wellness and spa area yeah because it was not mine 
but at the end, yeah, I will tell the story now. So um, I decided to only to uh, go to the sauna, sauna and wellness area, because there are two different areas. You can also buy both tickets. You can also buy the swimming for the swimming area and the wellness area. Uh, but as I said before, I only decided to go to the wellness area, but because it was a long day and I didn't want to go swimming. Yeah. So as you can think about, I was really, really hungry and. Yeah, and they said that there is a really good restaurant there. And I thought, okay, good, fine. And yeah, I'm not the easiest girl now with eating up. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm normally, I'm yes, I'm, I'm easy because I want some vegetables, I love salad, I want some couscous, I want some rice. But that was not in the restaurant. And I was really hungry though. Really, really hungry. And yeah, and then I asked, uh, I asked the woman which worked there if it's possible to go to the other restaurant because in the swimming area there's also an, another restaurant and they had my my things. And no, that's not possible because I only paid for the entry ticket from the sauna. Yeah, then I was really, really hungry. And yeah, but after one and a half hour I really decided to eat something because as I said before, I'm already um, I had risotto with uh, prawns that was okay that was good I really have to say that was okay but the prices were quite expensive because it was a gourmet restaurant but, but there was the only possibility that I had to eat something there um, afterwards I was really a bit angry about the whole thing and I decided, okay, now I'm not going home because I paid quite a lot for a ticket. I think more than 50 euros for the evening. And I thought, yeah, that's that's not that cheap. And then I said, now I want to see everything. And then I saw the whole spa and wellness area. And after all, we have to say, it was cool. It was really, really cool. They have a small pool there. They have a big pool there. Um, they have a lot of sodas. They have a lot of other things you can uh, you can go in. So when you go to Ischgl, I really have to say it's worth to visit it. But think about eating things. When you love meat, then the gourmet restaurant is quite good. But when you love vegetables and like that, have a look at the menu before. But all in all, I really have to say Go to Ischgl, enjoy the day and have fun in Austria. Mm -hmm.